Hi, I'm Walkster 1970. Today I'm going to be rebuilding the front brake calipers on my 1983 Honda Shadow VT750C. Let's get started. First thing I want to do is take the retainer off. Get this out of the way. See if the pins will come out. Doesn't look like they want to. Let's see if I can pull these out. moving. Good. There we go. Pull the brake pads out. They should probably be replaced. Yeah, they're bad. Brakes are probably hanging up for a while on this thing. Move this out of the way. Probably gonna have to get in there with the slide hammer to pull the pistons out. This uh, internal bearing puller should get me in there. Let's see if I can just turn it out. Sometimes you get lucky and they're not fused in there. This one's bad. This one's pretty bad. Okay, I'm going to spray some PV on there. I'm going to get a clamp, see if I can push it in. Let's see if I can get this caliper pushed back in. Put some more PB on there. Let's see if I can slide them out now. I was able to get these out by using the old hydraulic method. Put a grease gun on here, put a bolt in here, and then uh, pressed them out. Used a grease pressure to bring them out. Now I just have to get all this grease out of here. Uh, the pistons aren't horrible. Probably clean that up. Someone wanting to use pliers on them. Probably would have been better. Let's see if I can clean that up. Yeah, pull this pin out. I'm gonna go and pull. Thought I was gonna pull that seal out. There's the upper one. the old seal. Lower one is stuck in there. There's the lower one. There's that one. Go. Get that one installed. Put some grease on there. There we go.
Let's see if I can get this on with this small screwdriver. Okay. Looks like the upper one's already out. It's pretty bad. You can see how bad that is down in there. It's corrosion. Yeah, I've got this cleaned out about as good as I can get it. I used a steel brush. I got my pick in there, screwdriver. Just slowly work that oxidization out of there. It's still not the best, but it might be enough. one of my rings that I've been soaking. Now it's in. And the smaller ones and the bigger ones in the bottom groove. It's not in the whole way. There we go. That seems pretty good. And the smaller one. I cleaned these up with some 1500 grit sandpaper and try and slide them back in. Thought it was going in. <clears throat> Not quite. Let me try the other one. Should be it for that one. I've got everything back together. This. Two new crush washers. For the banjo bolt. I'm going to go clean these up quick. And be right back. I got these pins cleaned up. And I'm gonna put a little grease on them. Yeah, you're right, it won't. that. Find the bolt that goes in there. That's the bolt. And then I'll go and put it back on the bike. I'm going to try to slide this on here one handed. One there. Put that into this. This goes up in there. And just put that on finger tight. Put that on. I'll hold that for now. This is a eight millimeter. This, I believe, is a 12 millimeter. And then this hopefully will pull off. <clears throat> not, not 
too easily. We got her off. Been on there for a while. Start tearing this one apart. Pull this off. Take this out. And I'm gonna go fill this with grease and hopefully pop the cylinder out. Okay, let's see how bad this one is. Cleaned everything else out. It's very hard. That's bad also. A lot of corrosion. Pull this pin out. Pretty rusty. Put the O-rings in. Thick one in the bottom. There we go. Looks good. Put the lower one in this side. I think that one's it. The upper one in. Yeah, same right. Yeah. No. Pistons. I got them pretty much cleaned up. It's still a spot there. So she'll go in. That one doesn't seem to be going in too good. Let's see if I can. Okay, I cleaned up the pin. I'm going to replace these. There's the other one. some grease on here. Let me clean this up. That's better. It should work. Come on. There we go. Pin. Seems to be on. I gotta get the brake pans. Put them back in there. Get our new crush washers. And put the band 
send you a bolt back in. That'll do it. That one's ready to go back on the bike. Let's get this back up on here. Move that into place. Should be a bolt for this. Torquing the caliper bracket bolts 25 foot pounds. It's 25. I'm going to go to the other side and do them. Should be torqued at 15 foot pounds. It is a 12 millimeter. Torquing this hose union bolt or banjo bolt to 10 foot pounds. And I'm going to torque one on the opposite side the same. I do not have a torque spec for the brake retainer. So I'm going to make that good and tight. Not too tight. It's nice and snug. It wasn't super tight on there. There we go. Hi there, this is Wonkster 1970 As you can see in the last part of this video, I was working on getting the air out of the front caliper assemblies. The way I accomplished this was squeezing the front brake lever until I built up pressure and then holding that in place while reaching down and opening up the brake bleeder valve. I kept doing that until eventually I got all of the air out of the system. Everything is working now on the 1983 Honda Shadow VT750C, and I will have more videos on this later. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, share, and subscribe, and stay safe. Thanks for watching.